It's another episode of In Our Yard. As you can see, this brome squirrel nut buster is almost completely empty. And the way this works is when a squirrel gets on the feeder, the weight of the squirrel closes the holes and they can't get into the feeder. The tube of the brome, brome squirrel nut buster is also if you purchase it from Feed the Birds, is completely warranted for life. So I have one that I was gifted from a friend and they still honored the warranty, which was awesome. So that one needs refilling. Then over on this side, we have a Niger feeder for smaller birds, such as the goldfinches, and smaller birds and this is also warranted because sometimes larger birds get into it and make a hole and crack it and they replace my tube so that was wonderful and on the other side of the yard as I pan around slowly I have purchased a Carolina Wren box and the reason it is special for the Carolina Wrens is that of the size of the hole and the so and the shape of the hole. Carolina Wrens are small, brown, very loud birds that you hear in the mornings and sometimes in the afternoon, but have a very distinct call. You can Google them and listen for the, and listen and learn. But when you see the bird and hear the bird, that's when your brain learns the call better. And you can see the hole. And then there's also a latch at the bottom that you open when you wanna dump out the nesting materials from the previous season. And I'm hoping that something will go in there. Those bigger birds, the bigger, like the sparrows can't fit because of the size of the hole. Thank you for joining me. Oh, and also one other tidbit that I do is I, starting in May, I will put orange slices into suet feeders that are hanging on trees in our yard. They will attract a Baltimore Oriole with any luck. That happened to me last year. And from middle of May till October, I do not feed the birds bird seed. I leave a bird bath in the summer out and I also do hummingbird feeders and that's it. So have a wonderful day. You can hear that I have lots going on in our neighborhood. We have construction going down the street and we also have trains that you can hear every once in a while. So I am going to go somewhere where it's a little more quiet to sit by the river maybe and enjoy the rest of my day. Take good care.